Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Harry and welcome to a day in the life of a preclinical versus clinical medical student. Good morning guys. You can't see me but it's 6am and this is a day in the life. driving to the gym right now. I am a clinical student. I'm a fifth year student in Rotorua Hospital at the moment. I'm actually on the Waikato Regional Rural Program, which means I've been a little bit of everywhere. I kind of move every five or six weeks, which is pretty cool actually. A really great way to see the country and also to get to know people. It's also be good to be back in my birthplace, which is Rotorua, so I kind of know where I'm going and I don't have to put maps on. It's, it slaps. Today, you guys are going to see me like after the gym, I will go to handover, which is basically when the night staff hands over to the morning staff and there'll be a handover every time there's a change of staff um, and they'll just talk about um, what the patient, who the patients are and what the patient's needs are. So that will happen in the morning and then we go on ward rounds. The doctors see everybody in the morning just to check up on how the patients are doing. So they visit every room. And then in the afternoon, you can either go to clinics, you can see patients yourselves, you can do a bit of assignment work. I just have to do my best in the last week because everything is stressful is out of the way. So yeah. Currently around 7 a.m. and it's quite a cold day today, but um, I've just parked my car behind the hospital and I'm walking up to the hospital right now. As you can see, the first thing I'm going to do is to collect my hospital ID card. So today I have my first shift of ward shadowing at the hospital. 
it's basically just following a charge nurse around the ward for the day. I think it's a nine, nine hour shift. Um, yeah. I'm a medical student and I'm just here to collect my ID. Thank you. My ID has been acquired, as you can see here, and now I've got a lecture going on at 8 o'clock, so I'm just going to jump across the streets and head to my lecture. this upcoming lecture would be on HIV infection and lymphadenopathy. gym it's a little more daylight now I'm gonna have a quick shower and have some breakfast and I can talk you through what I would do in a day currently I'm in Rotorua I'm on pediatric so you're gonna see what that's like for me this is what I'm wearing today it's just like a black top with pants and I hope you can see these these are my sketches I am obsessed with them they're so comfy. And I'll probably put a bit of like baby cream on, to be honest with you, and I'll probably put my hair in a claw clip. I don't really brush it. It's a mess at the moment. That's honest. So, I'll show you what's in my bag. So yeah, this is my bag. In it, I have this book. It always helps to have a book. You have to have a pen on you because when the consultant drops theirs, you're gonna have to pick it up. We'll give them one. Just kidding. But this is my wallet. What's this? Car keys so I can escape. Home keys so I can go to bed when the time's right. And that's basically it. So this little book is really cool. I picked this up, like a bunch of these up for nine cents at the beginning of the year. So I really recommend you do that. So I literally, in here, will write things in the day and then I'll write them. I usually like type them up or put them in some notes. Um, just to show you. Okay, <laughs> so worry about that. This is the kind of thing you would see in my book. Um, so I've just sort of written some stuff there. Oh, like this one is like teaching um, and I usually write this down at the end of the day and it's just to make sure that because there's no like there's no formal teaching so it's pretty handy to keep some notes down and then write about them later so yeah I'm gonna have some breakfast it's 7.42 so I've got eight minutes and then I'll literally just walk over there because that's where the hospital is it's like two minutes away and then I'll go to hand over that's my accommodation and this is the hospital I'm going up the back entrance real footage of me looking at reddish
Bubbles. And then I'll go and walk around to get the day started. Hey guys, just checking back in. It's around 10.30 right now. I've just had two lectures, eight to nine and nine to 10. And right now I've booked a room in the Met School Library. I'm just doing some preparation for my SGA at 11 o'clock. So SGA stands for Small Group Activity or Small Group Learning. Basically it's uh, an hour and a half session where a group of medical students get together and we do a group-based learning. Usually it's something relating to transitioning us from a preclinical environment to a clinical hospital-based environment. So right now I'm just doing some preparation on the history taking and um, I've got around half an hour to run through this before my session starts. So um, I'll see you guys at lunchtime. So what's your name? Nikki. So what are you doing right now? Um, honestly, going home at lunchtime. So I've got a set of questions for you. What are you doing? Um, I'm doing medicine here in Rotorua. At uh, what year? Year five. Year five, and what are you doing home? It is, I think, 11.30ish. I'll show you guys what the place looks like. I'm not done for the day, but um, this is where we live. It's really close to the hospital. And this morning was honestly just ward rounds, bit of discharge summaries, and then we had a quick like after morning handover as well. This is our beautiful lounge and dining area. And through the window, you can just see how close we are to the hospital. This is our kitchen, um, pretty sweet. Got all the um, amenities. Then this is um, what it's like. So it kind of has like hospital vibes. And on each like wing of the area, like this is like a hospital thing so they can collect your linen and rubbish bin and things like that. There's a bathroom and the bathrooms get cleaned like very regular. So, and so does the kitchen, which is really, really cool. But yeah, this is our little humble abode. As you guys have seen, I've had lunch, and then for the past hour, I've been in another study room. I've just met up with my friend, Alba. Hello. Uh, she's a third year optometry student. How are you finding um, third year optometry so far? Well, this semester, we only have three papers. I can actually have a life. I'm going yeah. to the gym now. <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah? Literally gym four times a week. That's nice. So um, really happy I actually have a life. Sounds like a very balanced optometry student. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you excited yeah. to, to go on placement soon? So or you, you guys already go? Placements um, until next year, beginning of next year. But we definitely do work like in the lab, which is very similar to what you would do in clinic. True. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, that's, that's me. I'm probably going to head off in the next 15 minutes as well, because I have to go to see my GI specialist regarding on my uh, IBD condition. But yeah, so thanks for being in the vlog. Um, yeah, enjoy your day. A few moments later. So guys, um, I'm home now. Usually in the afternoons, if it's like a busy week or it's before assessments, you can go and see patients, you can go to clinic. Um, 
work on assignments, you might have meetings and other stuff like that. I didn't really have that today, but now I'm back home, so it's about 4 p.m. So it's a pretty good day on peds, eight till four. And yeah, now I'm just gonna probably treat myself and kind of just get ready for dinner and prep for the week. just finished the consultation with my GI specialist who also happens to be my lecturer at medical school. Yeah, that was interesting. So I've been told that now I'm allowed to start to slowly go back to a normal sort of diet and also return to some normal exercises that I'm, I do, you know, going to the gym, doing boxing and, you know, doing some cardio. So that's good. Um, yeah, so right now, anyway, I think I might just go back to uni and do a bit of studying before heading home and having some dinner. Hey guys, I'm back home. I went out for dinner with my mum and um, my auntie and just hung out for like a few hours. It's 9.30 now, but I'm pretty, like a, I'm an early sleeper. I love my sleep. I'm probably just gonna go get ready for bed and be ready to sleep by 10. So that's how my day goes. As you can see, it's already night time. I've already had dinner and it's been a few hours since I've last spoken to you. Now, on my way home, I always managed to pick up these over here. I'm also one of the magazine editors for the Medical Students Association, and we are responsible for producing a yearly magazine for all the fellow medical students. This project has now been completed and today we were told by the publishers that the magazines were printed and ready for pickup. So there you go. Anyway, I've got around half an hour before I go to sleep. So I'm just going to do some quick ECG revision and I'm gonna quickly skim over the lecture notes for tomorrow's lecture, which is on liver and gallbladder pathology. Let's study. So much for watching this video before i finish off i'd just like to mention that i am super grateful for the opportunity to have such great education which in my opinion is a pathway to a fabulous career i hope this video goes out to all the aspiring medical students and doctors i hope you all find this helpful and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe otherwise stay fit stay strong stay positive and i'll see you in the next one Hey guys, feel free to follow my YouTube and my Instagram. I hopefully respond to my DMs pretty in a reasonable ish time. So um, I'm always keen to give advice in whatever way I can. And you can give me a tinky like on my YouTube and maybe I'll post more regularly. Yep, so yeah, like you just said, um, go check out her channel. I'll put the link down in the description below and also at the end of the video to her YouTube channel and Instagram page, noted by Nikki, is it? Yep. 
yeah, so what are you waiting for? Go check it out now. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so is it on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> well, just say whatever, bro. Like, I'll cut the mix out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>